From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Get big savings close to home with Northway Bank's Community Sense Digital Coupon Book. Filled with valuable money-saving coupons from hundreds of Northway Bank business customers. Visit NorthwayBank.com for more info. Northway Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Conway Daily Sun says a reward of $10,000 is being offered for information that will help law enforcement authorities identify a suspect who allegedly assaulted a young woman October 20th in Wolfboro. Wolfboro Police Chief Stuart M. Chase tells the Sun the reward money is being offered by an anonymous donor and there's no indication the case is related to the disappearance of 15-year-old North Conway teenager Abigail Hernandez, who's now been missing more than two months. The chief tells the son the suspect is between 20 and 30 years old, and his most prominent facial feature is a drooping or sagging condition below his left eye. Anyone with information about the case is asked to call Wolfboro Police at 603-569-1444. Raymond S. Burton represented the heart and soul of New Hampshire, Governor Maggie Hassan said Saturday, as friends and family celebrated the life of the District 1 executive counselor who died last month. Burton died from kidney cancer November 12th at the farmhouse where he grew up in Bath. He was 74. Though he traveled thousands of miles a year, he rarely left northern New England. He was remembered Saturday for tireless constituent service over three decades and set a high bar for the state's other elected officials. If it mattered to a constituent, then it mattered to Ray, Hassan said. He understood that they deserved the fiercest advocate. Thousands of Maine-made wreaths have been distributed at Arlington National Cemetery outside Washington. Eleven truckloads of greenery from Worcester Wreath Company made their way to the cemetery Saturday. Governor Paul LePage and First, A First Lady Ann LePage were on hand. The nonprofit Wreaths Across America expects to ship as many as half a million wreaths to adorn veterans' graves this holiday season. Governor LePage has signed a proclamation to ensure Maine residents can timely heating fuel deliveries as temperatures remain bitterly cold. The limited emergency proclamation signed by the governor Friday allows Maine delivery trucks to drive additional hours for the next two weeks by waiving some rules of the U.S. Department of Transportation. Maine is expected to have colder than normal weather for the next month. The governor says in a statement he'll decide after the two weeks whether an extension of the proclamation is needed. His office says propane inventories are already down 25 percent in Maine and the shortage is expected to worsen as demand increases in the coming days. In sports, the men's basketball team game between Maine, Presque Isle, and Maine was scheduled for yesterday but postponed due to poor travel conditions. Stony Brook beat New Hampshire 67-48 in their conference opener yesterday. And the Miami Dolphins helped their playoff chances with a 24-20 breakthrough win yesterday over the AFC East leading New England Patriots in Florida. In the weather today, partly sunny, a slight chance of snow showers this morning. Highs 9 to 15 above. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear tonight, much colder with lows 13 below to 19 below zero. Northwest winds around 10 miles per hour in the evening becoming light. Wind chill values as low as 36 below. And partly sunny in the morning Tuesday, then cloudy with a chance of snow in the afternoon. Highs around 12. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gare McKenzie.